Now I'm going to show you a simple and easy way to tie a shuttlecock. Uh, this is a flyer for a lot in the, in the summer months, uh, especially on catch and release and target and rising fish. Now the colour combinations is up to sell being in the thorax in this this fly. Uh, you can use black, you could use any type of dubbing. I'm using a, a UV dubbing. This is the one here, it's, it's uh, from Spirit River, it's called Diamond Bright and Black. It's, it's a nice colour. And you get plenty of these colours nowadays, but as always, you can use rabbit, you could use any seals fur, anything you feel you want to put on it. Now as I say, it's a very simple fly to tie. I'm going to basically keep the whole of this, practically the hook bare, most of the hook bare, uh, so that when you cast this fly, it corrects, it sits instantly when you're targeting fish. You don't have to pull it to get it to sit right. So this will sink really quick. Um, having a small tag, so in this case it's going to be red holographic and the thorax and the UV light bright and black. Uh, it's going to have the shuttlecock type wing. And again I'm going to save a wee bit uh, of money by using only two feathers but doubling them up. And they'll still work. It actually floats better uh, because of the stem has been still there. But you'll see it's very simple to tie and I say you can tie them any colours. Now the hook I'm using, this is a full mill hook, it's a super, it's a super heavy weight grub. That being a heavier weight, meaning uh, it can take a lot more abuse. It corrects itself really quick because it's a slightly heavier than a, obviously a lightweight. And uh, in, it, you can catch and release all night with it. You've just got to keep it float. Um, as I say, it's ideal. I like, I like fishing it in the evening and the night or towards the night. But you don't need to, if you do use a pair of pliers to remove it, uh, which you shouldn't really, it should come out quite easy. Uh, you'll not damage the fly itself. Now the thread I'm going to be using is the uni thread in black in 8 Now you, I've always run the wax through, you need to wax it to just get plenty of grip. So you just put a layer of thread and you wind it to the point of the hook and then remove I'm using a I'm using a small or a medium, medium red holographic tinsel. In this case this is a medium. I'm just going to catch this in. So I've got at least two turns now, I'm going to wind this over Tiny bit of super glue. This is a full of mill super glue. It's got the brush, so it's easy, easily easy to apply. So we wind this over. Take away the excess. Three or four turns to secure it in. Then we take it up to the say about the head length from the eye. Then we're going to get two small. These are CDC feathers from a duck. The mallard up. It's going to line the ends up. So basically, you've got a natural curve in the feather. And I've just lined the tips up. You'll see there's two there. So I've just lined them up. Then I'm going to pull in the fibres. Just pull them in. The length of the fibre, you're looking round about there. See the length of the hook? Tied on top with the natural curve of the feather going up the way. So just did a wee turn there so you can, I can, you can see what it's like. So that's just at a length you're looking at. Now, what I want to do is put, say, at least four to five turns between the points of the series of sea feathers and the waist ends. And then I'm going to bring these together by basically posting. So what I do is I come in and I post the, the thread around the base of the feather, bring them together, slightly coming up, and then ending up with the thread at the back. So we've got our posted CDC feathers, we're actually doubling up, we're using, not cutting this off, or using four feathers to get the thickness we want, we're using two, so we're bringing this together, thickening them up, doubling it up, and then we can come in at the back and slightly cut at an angle, like that, and that there gives you, obviously a doubled up CDC wing. Now the, the stem of the, CDC feathers are still there, which basically helps to dry the, the fibre. So if you false cast, these fibres will help keep the CDC dry, dries much quicker. And then we get our dubbing, this is our UV black. And we just tidy up. So we start at the back. Just come in. Working towards the, the eye. 
come in with a thread. As I see, you can tie these up really, really quick. Taking a bit of varnish onto the thread, and then about finish. Just lift the CDC out of the way. And there we go. And that's your shuttle cock. I say it's a good fly. It's a good style to fish at this time of the year. I'm just going to take away this wee extra bit. You could use a bit of Velcro or your uh, dubbing needle and pick out a couple of fibres just by just giving it a leggy light look. So you just can come in. There we are. And that's just a black version. As I say, you can do olive, hair's ear, browns, gold. You could, you could do lots of things. You can even add a couple of legs either side, see the uh, knotted pheasant tail legs, which I've done. There's lots of ways you can actually that, but what this does, it allows you to handle the hook at the back without damaging the fly. Uh, as I say, because it's a bare hook, uh, when you cast it and target a fish, it sits instantly the way you want. Sometimes with the CDs or these type of flies, the body will float for that split second or two and uh, you've got to slightly either pull it or wait for it to sink. With this, with the bare hook, it just corrects itself straight away. So that's why it's a very good fly and, and obviously in catch and release you can easily get a grip. So I hope you enjoyed that. And as I say, tie up a few different colours. This is a very good one. This catches a lot of fish, this, this one here. You see, it's very simple to tie, so I hope you enjoyed that.